Hello everybody, it's Palabra here, and today I'm going to play a game called The Call of Karen. If you didn't see my last video, I just recently moved, so that's why I hadn't posted in a while, but I am back. The Call of Karen. Breakfast time? I- I don't think my game- my game right. I think my game- game broke. It wants me to cook stuff and, uh, it's stuck on the loading screen. <laughs> why do I literally break every game I play? I was gone for a month, and the first game I play Back on my channel, I already break it within not even just getting through my intro. That's all I needed to do, and now the game's broken, so let me restart it. There we go. I thought I said manly men. That's our message from our lovely sponsor, Hurston Enterprises. Before you get any ideas about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard gobbies up north. <laughs> the metaphor, you see. I tell ya, I love being up at 6 a.m. on a Monday. The sun rising over the city reminds me of all the life down there. All those good, stout-hearted Americans with jobs in their minds and capitalism in their hearts. We've got a special guest I'm interviewing today, Joanne. Hello, Charles. I'm excited to be here. Now, okay, what's a good Christian woman eggs. like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? I wonder that myself sometimes, Charles. Where am I gonna put these eggs? I didn't even plan that out. Just can you just sit there for a second? Bam. Alright. I need to get a plate. You just chill there, okay? Put it on the plate. Bacon on a plate. Egg on a plate. C close. C can you can I just take it out? Alright! Alright, the salt's attacking me. Someone's salty. Okay. Um, I don't think that's what they meant by a bit of salt. Can you just There we go. Alright. Get out of here. G give me the can Thank you. I'm, I don't think that's going on the food. I'm pretty sure I'm just peppering the salt and pepper. Utensils, give me a fork. All right, fork said no. Still got the fork. Task Francis, complete. I made your favorite meatloaf sandwich Mom, with- I can't talk. Nope. I, got I didn't. Now. I'm gonna miss no, the bus. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Bye. Are you tired of feeling taken for granted? Yes. You know it, Charles. Of course you are. We know all you family men work hard all day just to provide for the kiddos at the old yeah. ball and chain. And when do they ever say thank you? Family men. Mm. Honey, I'll be out late again. Have dinner ready when I get back. Where are you? Where's the... Where's yes, the front door? This truly is the American dream. Happy home, happy oh. life, and happy wife. And what could be happy? We'll be back with more tales from all around the greatest country on earth after these messages. What? What? What is- I don't- I don't think- I don't think this is supposed to be happening, but okay. Huh? <laughs> it might be time to lay off the morning wine. Yeah, probably. Is it- is this my bookshelf? Ugh. Even when something's a little different around here, there's always a mess to clean up. Okay. Books on shelf. There we go. Does that- does that count? Alright. Lots of papers on the floor. They're very messy. Oh! Those are cards. Not gonna lie, this is actually the paper. Look at me screwing things up. Where's the tin? I, I don't know, actually. Anyway, books on the shelf. Y y get in. Can you make room? Come on. Practice. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Okay, this is the tin. Can I put it down there? Can I just... That counts. Books on shelf, it counts. I don't know if I'll be able to get you on there, but we'll, we'll try. I think that counted. I don't- is this book not- this book not on there at all? Oh, guys, you know what? I can crouch. I'm a dummy. Not what I meant to do, but, uh, I did that. There's a book in the sink. Why? Why? What that sound was. Alright. I said, alright. I did it! Oh my god, now I just have to put the tin away! Is this Francis- is this Francis' door? Okay, drop! I'm- I literally just did that for nothing, I just dumped them all out. I'll blame Francis. Alright- oh, I gotta send at the dinner table! I gotta set the dinner table. Open that bad boy. Give me that plate. Oh, I broke one. Yeah, there's one. We're gonna use that one that fell on the floor, because we do not waste around here. 
Sorry to whoever gets that plate, but I'm not sitting there. I know what's been doing. I don't think I closed that, but I could have. Oh, I can hide controls. Oopsies. It said hide. Thank you. Um, the table looks a little different. Got a new tablecloth when I turned around. Oh, it's normal again. It's fine. Oh. Oh, it's fine. I'm just seeing things. I must have drank too much wine. <laughs> oh my god, my forks are everywhere. That wine's really getting to me. I don't need a spatula. What are you? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, you know what, guys? I set the whole table and I didn't even bake the meatloaf. I'm such a dummy. Oopsie. It's okay. It'll get it'll get burned off in the oven. Can you get in my oven? That counted. Bet. Oh, it's done. No one else is in here, right? Let me close the fridge. Oopsie doops. It's fine. I can use a knife now. It wants me to slice it up. Obviously. Oh, let me close that. Safety hazard. <laughs> I'm gonna use the biggest knife. I said I'm gonna use the biggest knife. Do I need to jump on the table? Okay. We had to jump on the table. <gasps> All I had to do was drop the knife on there. Look how good of a chef I am. What am I missing? Oh. How could I forget the cups? My poor family. They're gonna get dehydrated. That picture is different now. Oh, it's fine. Dinner's ready. I threw that at the floor. Sure. Sure. When Francis isn't sorting his trading cards and John isn't working on his novel, dinner can't come fast enough. When they're busy, they can't be bothered. Ugh, might as well listen to the radio while I wait. Yeah. And what a wonderful day it was. And if we have our way, we'll be living like this forever. Don't forget, anyone who wants different is a threat to our country. Be sure to report any strange happenings to... Yeah, strange happenings. Ooh, breakfast time again? I mean, all right, bet. What? Oh. If I have to politely remind John to stop stacking food against the fridge door oh. again. I'll scream. Dude, but what is happening? Would, if he didn't always leave the room when I show womanly emotions. Womanly emotions. Or bacon for me. Oh, what a that's feeling. Not, that's not Good normal. Morning, America. We're back at it again on this bright and sunny morning. And aren't we glad that it's bright and sunny, considering that freak storm over the Atlantic last night? That certainly didn't give me any ideas about the fragility of our human lives. C can you get in? Are you... Can in you... other news, does the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a white you are? Tune in after the break to find out. Alright, I'm pretty sure that was a little bit more than a dash. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not eating it. I need to take a fork to it. Maybe I am eating it. Alright. Francis, don't forget your lunch. Next time. Can you make lunch like Timmy's mom does? She gives him cookies. And don't you forget the meatloaf tonight, honey. I... Oh. I never do. I never do. Today's broadcast brought to you by Houston Enterprises' new vacuum cleaner. With brand new technology that keeps your house cleaner <laughs> longer. Get down. Not too long. Or you ladies back home would have nothing to oh, do. Uh... We've got a testimonial today from one of our happy customers. Say hello to America, Susan Jones. Hi, Charles. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> now, Susan, you're a mother, PTA president, and baker extraordinaire. Oh, I don't know if I'd say extraordinaire. I just know what I'm doing when some others <laughs> struggle a bit more. I think I just cut Susan them off. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. All right. That's definitely not normal. No, it's not normal. Why is she... Now, Wait Susan, a minute. You're a mother... Here. President and Baker extraordinaire. Any oh, second now, Charles from PMC Radio is going to knock on the door and tell me this is all a weird prank show saying. And Susan will be there too. So marvel at how... Sure, Susan. What is happening? We're speaking so much. Why is the knife on the fridge? I don't know how... Sorry, I thought there was a ghost. I don't know how I managed. Look it. Nothing like some floor silverware. No one knows. No one knows. They're not here while I set this up because no one's ever here while I'm doing all the tidying. Okay. Slice it up. That's all I need to do. And there's a knife up here where I left it. I just jump on the table. And then I do my thing called uh, drop the knife on the bread. Ready. Meatloaf. My bad. In a minute. In a minute. Why? Ugh. 
Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. Keep an eye out for anything strange, and don't forget. Uh huh. I gotta make breakfast again. Stop that. I prefer floating bacon to floor bacon. Oh, I can't say I'm a huge fan of either. Another day in American paradise. The oh my God, no! Come back. Earth. Don't forget, everything's completely fine. Today's program is brought to you by Stay Down. Thank you. And that's not all. If you buy now, you'll get a free pair of binoculars to spy sizzle. on your neighbors. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Get back on the stove. Oh god, no. I just flipped my bacon. That's not something you do. Eh. No. Eh, thank you. Bye, Francis. Hope you have a good day at school. Have a good day at work, dear. They don't even acknowledge me. Where, where's the grime? Ah! Sorry, I don't know why that scared me. I didn't even have the vacuum on me. Fire Hurston vacuum, they said. It will have your carpet sparkling like new! Yeah, yeah, give me your ring when it does the same thing for my ceiling. Ah! Sorry. Guys, I am so stupid. The grime is on the ceiling and that's why I couldn't find it. I literally had to reload my game because I thought that I broke it and I'm just, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. Don't mind me. There we go. We're vacuuming that grime. I don't know why I didn't think to look on the ceiling, you know, because I usually vacuum my ceiling. I don't know why. I'm just stupid. Why am I vacuuming the ceiling? Like, is, is your ceiling made of carpet or like what? Ew, and your wall looks like someone just didn't make it to the bathroom. Oh, yes. Being Magazine is here. Please take me away to a oh. world of country melodrama where I don't have to worry about how my house might be possessed. Mail order silver bullets. Right click while holding the brochure to write in your order info, then drop it in the envelope and take it to the mail slot. Right click. Silver okay. Bullets, huh? You know what? Sure. Better safe than sorry. Get, if only get. I hadn't sold the pistol when we had Francis. Got it. Alright, did it. Here we go. Oh, I gotta set the dinner table again. Wow. Those silver bullets can't get here fast enough. Silver hey, whatever bullets. entity is doing this, please stop. Yeah, I don't stop. need any more cleaning to do. Yeah, you're making me angry. Okay. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. It's fine. Come on, get in there. Get in get, get in there. You weather effort. Where do you well, stop that? Get in the oven. Thank you. Alright. Well done. All right, have you guys seen a knife around here by chance? Oh, there's a knife. Gotta get on the table. It's the only way to do this. Why? Where's my knife? Oh, there it is. Stop. Why are you being all weak? Why are you flying like that? Uh, what did I do to you? Let me try again. Why aren't you working? Dude, this is a safety hazard. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, that there's my favorite knife. Maybe that's why. Is it not? Dinner's ready. Okay. In a minute. I grab, in a minute. I grab the meatloaf. I should start cooking for the entity in the house. Oh Maybe my god. will appreciate my cooking. Probably. Is that a yes? I can't tell if that's a yes or no. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Oh. Good Trust. evening, listeners. Gee, did that day fly by with no strange happenings at all? For you night owls out there, here's the evening news. That storm out by the Atlantic seems to have cleared up. The Navy is setting out to investigate, to make sure it isn't something... else. Mm. Meanwhile, some odd fellow in Johansson County swears there's a new mountain on the horizon by his house. <laughs> oh, the things some folks will do for attention, am I right? If you live near that man, you'd best keep an eye on him for other unusual behavior. <laughs> Okay. Good morning, everyone. Every day is a clean slate, a brand new start. <sighs> Breakfast, yes, as you all know, yes, okay. is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important Come on. meal in the universe. We're the only ones to you guys. humanity and eat the sun. Okay. Broadcast is telling me that isn't Stay. a standard meal in most American households. My mistake. Where is all my food? Oh, it's on the floor, I guess. Why is it on the floor? Everything's fine, look, it's not even floating anymore. It's the opposite. Just kidding. I spoke too soon. Give me some, give me some, all right. Give me some salt. It's still counting, it's fine. I know how to cook, trust me. 
You'll get more flavor this way. Just gotta get a little counter grime and uh... You are good to go. Told you. Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I can drive Timmy's you. Timmy's mom says that women shouldn't drive. Oh my god. Bye, honey. I feel so unappreciated. Strange. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. Okay, a mysterious package has appeared. Is that a note? Hint, right click while holding to use on an item. Keep an eye on the vacuum. Oh okay. boy. From Susan? What did she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who has elders demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow. Isn't that just so thoughtful of her? She said... I've chained it up so the unspeakable power won't escape, but you should be able to use it while it's closed. All right, thanks, Susan. Let me just put this on my table. What grime? Okay. Oh, God, okay. Oh, God, who made that mess? Oh. Do I... What did I just do to my vacuum? Okay. That's actually useful? Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? <laughs> I thought I heard footsteps and I was freaking out. Throw a pencil at the paper and see what ideas flow. Make sure to fold it nice and neat so Susan doesn't have something to say about that too. Throw it. All right? Throw it. Throw it. it there we go. It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked just for you. Mm-hmm. All right, fold her up. Okay, I did it. Let's go back. There you go, Susan. And now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your community. Come on, Charles. I don't need you calling me out, too. You know, I'll catch that meatloaf in a second. I'm gonna set the table first, like a good wife. All right, meatloaf, where are you? Oh, it says, where on earth did that pesky meatloaf go? Maybe some of the holy water from the closet will set it straight. Hint, catch it and trap it on the counter first. I'm pretty sure it's stuck on the door, so that's what you mean, right? It's not stuck on the door. <gasps> I caught him! Ha ha! You're caught! Luckily, I have multiple holy water in here. All right, I'm gonna drop it on your head, apparently. He's normal! Nothing like some holy water and your meatloaf. They don't, they don't need to know about that, though. Close that, we don't want to mess in here. Wait a no! I just threw it into the freaking abyss. What is that? Whoa, it's jumping on the couch. Stop horsing around, we're trying to cut some meatloaf. You know what? I just needed to crouch. I'm working on my novel. I'm sorting my training cards. <laughs> what a nerd. Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Yes. Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. I am. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Mm -hmm. Appliance one. A safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. <laughs> so I'm just sitting on the table with a knife. And five down is computer for totally. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Lithuanian? <laughs> Darn. I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlie. So close. Uh-huh. How many more times do I do this? Oh, stop it! No! Oh my god, my bacon transferred to another plate. I... I don't think it'll notice. It's fine. There we go. Be sure to Bye. be safe out there, Francis. There's been strange news lately. Why is there bacon in my plant? Really fine, Mom. <gasps> Timmy's dad is picking me up from school, and Timmy's mom is gonna make me brownies after. Okay. Honey, have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's all right. I'll pick up pizza tonight. Unbelievable. Oh, perfect. My bullets are here. My bullets. Now, I might not have a gun. And most sources say you need a gun to use bullets. But 
Most sources aren't losing their mind trying to be a good wife and mother while demons are in their house. So I'll be taking some liberties. Okay. Okay, your bullets are here. Right click while holding them to soup up your vacuum, then sew them away for a rainy day just in case. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know when I'll need it, but better safe than sorry. What did I just do? <laughs> I just I just turned my vacuum into a gun. Tonight's there we go. podcast is brought to you by The Stars Are Right, your number one guide to the stars being right. Also providing services like seeing if the stars are right and making sure that the only ones to send upon the world. Broadcast? What do you mean they're not a sponsor? The stars are right. The stars are right. It's right here. The stars are right. 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 I didn't do that. No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that the old ones are returning and they're charging their boat to the second city of Rokia and that Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. 50% off. Oh, we're on air now? Stop it. Hello, everyone. Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. Add a bit of extra kick to your that. morning smoothie with some tasty sea life. Delicious. Actually, <laughs> no. that doesn't sound delicious at all. What? Well, anyhow, it's a Saturday. Time to kick back and relax after a long, hard week of work providing for your families. Oh. And hey, okay. maybe your wives can take a break, too. Take a break, my butt. Do you see this mess in here? I don't get a break. Everything's so hoppy bouncy all the time. I need an egg. Thank you. Give me your plate. Which one is it? This one? Thank you. Is it didn't pick up? Stop it. Or my food will be lost. Get, get, get back. Get back down here. Wait, where did you go? My god, it's like a trampoline park in here. Okay, okay, there you are, there you are, it's fine. Okay, I got the pepper, just need some salt. It's fine, all right, we're good, we're good. I just need a fork. I need a fork. I need a fork! <laughs> Thank you. Dude, my food, this is just how it gets, I don't even think my food's on there anymore. I don't know. With the guys. I'll be back late. He's cheating on me. We're gonna go poke it with a stick. Oh, okay. hey, don't. Jeez, God. Susan should pay more attention to her kid. Yeah. So it looks like Francis picked up his trading cards for once, but of course they're still cleaning to be done. Grab that vacuum and fire away. It looks like these bullets are going to come in handy after all. I'm sick of this eldritch nonsense. Yeah, me too. You don't think the Soviets have anything to do with this, do you? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. We'll all be vaporized to dust one way or the other. Do you believe that we will rejoin the stars? Oh. I thought you were interviewing me about my surrounding business. <laughs> Indeed I was! You'll never believe it, folks! This man makes a deep sea dining sense! Get a plate shaped like an octopus for only 1999! Yes, I Perfect for all occasions! Like serving that 50% off calamari or celebrating the return of oh, the, growth, the, the octopus bad human lord of the deep sea! Hehe. <laughs> ah, what a day it's been! Oopsie, doopsie, I interrupted him. Okay, this has gone on long enough. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm sick of all this. It's hard enough to do all the work around here, and I don't need you making it worse for me. Yeah. I've spent my whole life cleaning up other people's messes, and I'm not dealing with yours, too. I'm ending this, once and for all. No, get back in the closet. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. It's upgraded. All right, tentacles be gone. Can I shoot them? I can. That's all it takes. All right, cool. Take it outside. We are going outside, boys. If I want to. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I dropped my vacuum. Why? Hey, you big ugly slob. Catch. He's huge. Right between the eyes. Awesome. Can your vacuum do that? I don't think so. Bet. A beautiful day in American paradise. A lovely country with a lovely radio station host that may have just been put on sick leave for a month because of erratic behavior. <laughs> Strangely, I feel much better. But I'm not going to turn down a free vacation. In any case, sayonara, America. I'll see you again once I'm done sipping pina coladas in Bermuda. Mm-hmm. Well, 
That takes care of that. Oh, that's new. Outside looks Honey, great. I'm off to work. Oh, and when I get home, I want to talk to you. Frankly, the house has been a mess this week. Susan's mentioned that she's seen all sorts of things through the windows, and you're not really making this a structured environment for Francis. We both know that you need to clean more, but I want to find a solution that works for you. Happy wife, happy life, right? Is that so? Oh my god. That was a good game, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know anything about Kahulu or however you say it. I have no idea. I wasn't into that in high school or middle school, whenever it really came around. But I did enjoy the game. It was weird. It was kind of repetitive, but it was different each time, so it was all good. I feel like I'm a better housewife now, so thank you. That's one thing this game has taught me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I shall see you on the next one.